Amazon Code Whisperer Introduction and Tutorial. So, what is Code Whisperer? It's a code generator that provides code recommendations in real time. It is powered by machine learning and generates a line or a function of code as a suggestion in your IDE. It's your AI coding companion that supports many programming languages like Java, Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, Go, etc., and can be used in IDEs like Visual Studio Code, Jupyter Lab, IntelliJ, PyCharm, Amazon SageMaker Studio, etc. Let's start with the demo using Visual Studio Code. So here's our IDE. Let's choose the extensions option on the left and search for AWS. And from the result, select AWS Toolkit and hit Install. Now on the left hand side, you see the AWS option. So select that and under Developer Tools, you have Code Whisper. Hit the Start button and you will be prompted to sign up. Once you are signed up and connected, you are ready to use Code Whisperer. You can start and pause auto suggestions. Let's start with a Java file called main.java. Here I want to print prime numbers. So I add a comment method to print prime numbers to n. Right? And I hit enter. And code whisperer gets on the job and suggest this function name. I can use the right left arrow keys for more options, but here I just hit tab to accept the suggestion. And when I hit enter, rest of the code is suggested to me and I'll hit tab to accept it. Okay. And I add a closing brace for the function. In the generated code, there is a reference to is prime function. So we need that. I add another method to check if a number is prime, right? And I hit enter. And the entire is prime function is suggested to me here. So I can hit tab to accept it. I'll add a closing brace for the function. So our functions are ready. Now we need to have a way to invoke them. So let me start typing public static void main. So there you can see rest of the code for this function is suggested and I hit tab to accept it. And here you can see there is a call to the print prime function generated earlier. So let's change the value of n to 100 because we want prime numbers 200 to be generated. Now we are ready to compile and run. So at the terminal, I'll type Java C main or Java and then run it using Java main. And there you can see in the result, prime numbers up to 100 have been generated. So here we saw how the code was generated by providing hints via comments. Let's try some Python code generation. I'm in a directory where I have an index.html file and a Python code file called HTTP server with a .py extension. Here we want to create a HTTP web server. So let's add a comment. Create a simple HTTP server and hit enter. And you have a suggested code in code HTTP server. So hit tab and accept it. Next line suggested is port equal to something. We accept that and change the port number. Hit enter. Okay. We'll wait for a code suggestion. And next we are suggested a simple HTTP request handler. So we accept that. And next line we have with HTTP server, which references the port. So we accept that too by hitting tab. Okay. 
and we accept the next two suggested lines as well. So our simple HTTP server code in Python is ready. Now uh, let's run this uh, run Python file in terminal. And using a browser, let's access our web server on localhost 8080. Index.html file is successfully served. And that was our simple Python web server. Let's add a JavaScript file now. We'll call it index.js. And here we add two variables. name and email. Okay. Now we want a function to post HTTP request. Let's see what is the suggestion. So we accept the suggestion as function name post data and then there's rest of code, which we also accept. And here you can see how name and email has been automatically picked up to be included in the function. So that's our JavaScript code generation. We will write an AWS Lambda function now in Python. So let's create a file called save data lambda from dot and here we want the lambda function to save the data it receives to a DynamoDB table. So we add a comment. AWS lambda function to save data in a DynamoDB table. So here we have a suggestion to import. We accept that and move ahead. And then there is a lambda handle definition. We accept that. And now we wait for rest of the code to save the data in a DynamoDB table. So that's the suggested code, and we hit tab and accept that and make appropriate modifications where necessary. Let's see what we can do with a shell script. So let's add a file work.sh and add our first comment. Write a script uh, to install Apache on a Linux server. Okay. Hit enter and uh, waiting for the first suggestion. So we just Date and we accept that and um, our next suggestion should be to install Apache 2 Good. so we accept that also and the next one is to start Apache and then enable Apache so a script is on expected lines let's add another so here this time we are saying script to install MySQL server and here the suggestion should be very similar right? install MySQL server and then start it and enable it. Okay, so that's good. Let's uh, do one more. How about adding two numbers? Okay, and uh, first suggestion is to echo, enter two numbers. Okay. Now we should read the numbers. Yes, read A, and there should be a read the next number read b and now we can add them so we accept that and echo the result under developer tools code whisperer you can see there are a few options here you can pause or resume auto suggestions or run a security scan so let's uh, run the security scan so you can see the message scanning active file and its dependencies in this case index.js is being 
scanned for security. So let's wait for the result. And there you have it, security scan completed for one file, zero issues were found. And another option we have here is open code reference log. Here you may see references to code suggestions. And there is also a settings related to that. So that was a quick introduction and tutorial on Amazon Code Whisperer.